So this is a question on uh, definite integration uh, which is expressed as limit of a sum. Uh, so the question is the value of limit n tending to infinity is sigma r is equal to 1 to n 1 by n square root of n plus r by n minus r. So uh, this can be expressed as limit n tending to infinity 1 by n sigma r is equal to 1 to n square root of by taking n common it is 1 plus r by n by n taken common it is 1 minus r by n so n gets cancelled so this is limit n tending to infinity 1 by n sigma r is equal to 1 to n square root of 1 plus r by n by 1 minus r by n. So based on this we have a 1 as b minus a. So if I consider, so if a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1 and f of a plus r into b minus a by n changes to f of r by n. So the fu function of r by n is square root of 1 plus r by n by 1 minus r by n. So this implies f of x is square root of 1 plus x by 1 minus x. So the given expression limit n tending to infinity 1 by n sigma r is equal to 1 to n square root of 1 plus r by n by 1 minus r by n can be expressed as integral a to b where a is 0 and b is 1 f of x dx and f of x is square root of 1 plus x by 1 minus x dx. So we have to solve for this integration. Let us consider x is equal to use the substitution x is equal to cos theta which implies dx is equal to minus sin theta d theta. So using minus to change the limits we have as x is equal to 0 theta is equal to pi by 2 and x is 1 theta is 0. So uh, use this negative sign to, to interchange the limits so we can write it as integral 0 to pi by 2 square root of 1 plus cos theta by 1 minus cos theta into sin theta d theta. So by rationalizing the denominator we, that is multiplying and dividing with square root of 1 minus 1 plus cos theta. So we get 1 plus cos theta whole square with square root. So we get 1 plus cos theta in the numerator and the denominator is 1 minus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta is 1 minus cos square theta which is square root of sine square theta. So it is simply sine theta multiplied to sine theta d theta. So, integral 1 d theta is theta between the limit 0 to pi by 2 plus integral cos theta is cos theta d theta is sin theta between the limit 0 to pi by 2. So, this implies the value is pi by 2 at theta is equal to 0 it is 0 plus sin 90 is 1 minus sin 0 is 0. So this is the value of the given limit. It is equal to pi by 2 plus 1.